partners. Welcome to Who Knows, the conspiracy show, live in the Beyond World Studios with Chef Rigsby drinking his Crowboy Crowboy Sarsaparilla, Sarsaparilla. and we have the uh, and we have the mummy over there operating the tech controls, partners. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Well, today... It's going to be painful. Today is going to be a painful episode. I know, because I read a lot of articles to research this and watched a lot of videos, and I actually started to develop uh, a migraine. Like, you know when you have a migraine behind your eyes and they start, like, twitching? And, like, I felt like my eyes were going to pop out of their sockets and, like, spit volcanic lava ashes out of my nostrils. Well, if you start to talk, I'm just going to do this so I can take a snooze. Uh, well, today's episode is an especially infuriating episode that caused a lot of forehead slapping uh, amongst all of us. Before we begin, though, I will say, please make sure that you are surrounded. You are in a room surrounded by tinfoil. You were wearing your tinfoil government thought protection around your cerebral cortex, and you have sunglasses on wherever you are so that nobody can read your mind through a retinal scanning because that's the only way that you can really protect yourself against the Illuminati and the, the lizard people that are secretly in control of the, the entire planet. Oh my god. That's not the whole thing, this is from other stuff. Too. <laughs> but today's especially infuriating episode is about a relevant topic. It's a relevant topic because people are talking about it right now. It is a lot of... Lost my security. <laughs> it have lost the security. We are talking about flat earth theory. Is it a theory? I was gonna say, does it even qualify as a theory? Is it a theory? Is I cool, have a, but... I have one question <clears throat> about this whole thing. Uh huh. Maybe it's too early to ask it might be a this little question. Early on. We should but wait I have a it. question. Wait till the data has present. to do with the dome. Oh, this, this is too early so. on. You're, you're 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 getting in. So this is like if this was like a plate of food that your grandparents prepared for you. I'm trying to give you the peas, and you're going for the steak. The veggie steak. You're going for the veggie steak. Going for the tofurkey. Stick with, I put some salt and pepper on the peas and stick with that. Uh, for now. Before before we get into the. the what are your possibly entrance? What is your entrance? I've got an entrance into this topic. But at first, I, I I gotta ask everybody here and everybody at home to close your eyes for a little visualization. No. Close your eyes. You love doing this. I love it. I, this is part of my thing. So close your eyes, everybody, and imagine. I'll do some teleportation music. You're back in your childhood. Game Boys, Ninja Turtles, Sega Genesis. Think about it. You're all happy. Here's ah uh, boy, Ninja Turtles. Uh, yay! Going on dates with hot women. Going on dates. It's warm summer nights. As a nine-year-old. Ding 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 ding. What's that? Oh bummer. Summer's over. Back to school. Oh, I know where you're going. You're, you're back in your classroom. You sit down at your desk and you scan your surroundings. Geography class. And then you think to yourself, as a young child, what's in every classroom? A teacher. A teacher. Nathan, what's in every classroom? Chalkboard. Chalkboard. Uh, what's the chat saying? Chat, what's in every, what's in every classroom? You're, you're a child. You're eight years old. You're teleported to your magical youth. Perverts. There's perverts. There's perverts. <laughs> There's always a pervert. Never. There's perverts in every classroom. Uh, lower hat. Pencils. Ah, D truck sees where I'm going with this. That's right, D trucks. In every classroom, there is a globe. Ah. D trucks is totally. I should positive. have thought of that you since that's the topic. That. No, it sure didn't. But him. in addition oh. to a round globe in every classroom, oh. there is a flat map of the Earth telling the truth. The deception begins early on. Unbelievable. And that's where that's where everybody started to become indoctrinated. You were in your elementary school. All of these messages were hidden. In plain sight, Seth Barnett. I hear ya. Uh huh. Seth is just walking out of the room. <laughs> to get my He's going to get his tissues. So, flat earthers believe, in essence, that for most of recorded history, so or in general, let's just say for the first, I don't even think it's for most of recorded history. For the first couple of years of recorded history, 
people believed that the earth was flat. And then the Greeks came along with science and telemetry and instruments and like some rational thought. And then they said, oh wait, no, the earth might actually be a globe based on like positioning of shadows and like all those other things. So Seth, the earth was flat by like caveman standards until the Greeks and like some ancient peoples came along and realized no, it, it, it's, it's actually... We don't know if cavemen thought the Earth was flat. They thought everything was magic. They thought that the, the sun went down and they were appeasing their gods or whatever. But it wasn't really until... And, like, even Christopher Columbus, like, he sailed across the sea. He had a globe. The director of the Goonies? Not the director of the Goonies. But the, the you know... Was the, that the, Steven Spielberg? No. no he was the but, like, but early explorers, like, even they had globes, like... But there was a debate at that time Did where... My nose clean? Your nose is clean. But there was a debate at that time where people did say, like, well, the Earth might be flat, but they didn't really have, like, all the science yet. So some people were like, well, you can't prove it. And then Christopher Columbus and other explorers were like, I'm going to sail across the ocean. And if I fall off, I fall off. But if I don't, then it's, like, not, it's not a thing. And then Copernicus in the 1500s, like, really started to shift society and religion and all of these things. What did they say? About Christopher Columbus sailing around the world. I don't even know if he did. But he like sailed to Captain cap- Joshua Slocum before they had governments and, and intelligence and all that. How do they well, explain those guys? They didn't. They just said that they sailed across like some plane, but that the earth was still flat and there was like. When an they edge. Have bounced? They said that there was an edge and that people would eventually go off. But what about people who sailed around the world prior to. This government conspiracy. Like I said, there were people that... Before NASA even existed. But there were people that accepted that it was a globe at that time, and then there were people who still said it was flat. But But to the Flat Earth people, I asked them that. Well, I don't know anybody. There's no YouTube videos from 1500 where people are talking about it. But there were people who still said that the Earth was flat at that time. But obviously at that time, there was less scientific data to back all that stuff up. So it was more reasonable... It's not even reasonable, but it was more reasonable to assume that, like, perhaps at that time, the Earth was flat. But then, science. Is, is this the name? Yes. And then I... To... And now there's a, there's a... You hear that? That's that... the government! You hear that? We're getting... I'm not getting that on my phone. Sherry Cobalt. I'm not getting that on my phone. You're getting that on your You're phone. You're getting the Amber Alert? I'm not getting the Amber Alert. My yeah, phone went earlier. Phone, my phone's been off. We, we've been hacked. Oh, Seth gets his stuff late. We've been hacked. Ha- the the Amber Alert was, came uh, earlier today. We've been compromised. <laughs> what was the rest of it? That's it. Just look at that. That's that's it? On, I just sent that? On, on Twitch. On Twitch. Do yeah. I put an at? Like, what's the link? Like, how do I do I it? don't have the link. We're doing the show. It's I'm trying to get viewers for you. It's on Twitch. Tell her to go on Twitch. Look in the search function for that. And it'll, it's on there. Wait, then what's the link? What? Seth this he wants to link for his girlfriend the, in the middle of the show. To the web show. Twitch.tv slash Beyond Worlds. Just search Beyond Worlds Twitch and That's you'll find it. That's what I'm telling him, but he wants the Switch link. the two words you need to know. Twitch.tv. Oh my god. You, are you like hap- a nana? Beyond Worlds. This is happening in the middle of the show. He's just, he's sending he's a, exactly He's right. a nana. What's, yes. what's the internet? What's That's Twitch? Like, what's the internet? What's the button? I didn't do a hyperlink. Didn't How does Helen not know what Twitch is? Tell Helen to go on Google and look for Beyond underscore Worlds. I know, but why didn't it create a link out of that? I don't know. I'm not an I'll I- text her. Is, is it supposed to be dot com or something? Oh my gosh! This is this is. The, I wrote twitch. This is the real infuriation. I wrote, I wrote twitch. TV. Beyond. Worlds. Seth is doing this as a bit. It has to he be. Is. Stop. Who cares? Stop talking. But is there something after Beyond World? No, I already sent it to her. I want it. I can send it to you too. This has, this Re- check your text. Oh my god. Okay, okay continue okay. talking. Well, let's continue. So, Welcome to Beyond Worlds Mayhem Central. So, some terms that I want you to be aware of in terms of like flat. Terms earth. in terms of. So, some terms and terms that I want you to be terms of is I want you to realize that some of this vernacular, flat earth people call people who believe in a round earth things like globe heads, globers, globalists. They call the round earth ball earth, and then they refer to uh, NASA, the space industry, even globe manufacturers as big globe. Like big brother. Like big brother. Like old brother. Uh, There's so much crazy stuff with flat earth. I want to get into a few of the major theories here and like stuff that they put out is like, this is like, there's so much stupid crap. I, we could talk about this for days and it would just keep going, but. How did you do that? 
NASA. Let's get into the this is get into the meat right away. NASA. You, well, you might be asking yourself, well, the Earth is a round shape. I've seen NASA photos from space. Haha, <laughs> you simple fools. Oh my god. We'd have to go to space for that to be possible. <laughs> oh, why haven't we been to space? So wait, we haven't been to space and the rockets are empty? The rockets are empty. We've never been That's to not space. true. So why can't we have... Where did the up? ultimate warrior come wait, 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 from? Wait, wait, If the pictures are fake, why can't they be taken not by a man but by a satellite? <laughs> then you would have to believe that we actually launched satellites. What is in the rockets? There's nothing. They're not actually... They're launching them up and then they're coming right back down. They're launching them up into the... Not the outer atmosphere. They're just launching them up at a trajectory and then they're coming back down to Earth. But they don't think there's anyone there to supervise it? There's no nope. flat earthers there to supervise? Nope. They just post videos on YouTube. And they, they all have names like... Uh, like Jesus Lover 99. Because like, I'd like a his... flat... <laughs> yeah, probably. And I'd like, like a flat earth person to go to the space launch, but they watch would... the thing go up, and I want them to show me it coming down. I want them to see it come down. Because if that's what they're saying... Then well, they, they know it's it. not. They just do it to be... It's like, they're basically just arguing to be difficult. And a lot of these flat earthers that I've seen, it's like... I think 90% of them don't genuinely believe what they think. That's a what theory. What they say. That's a theory they're that we're They're just gonna, being annoying and trying to disrupt things and, be, and they argue to argue. It's that's like a that, theory that we're going to... That kind of mentality. Later. That's a theory that we're going to do later. But let's talk about what they think about NASA a little bit. So some key points that they think about NASA... They think that NASA is a tool of the Globers, and we've never actually been to space. Admittedly, and this is something that NASA does admit to. Maybe Andy Kaufman made all this up, and it's just a joke. It's possible. Admittedly, NASA has used composite photos before, and they have sometimes retouched photos. Yeah, but it, they're not using that as a code of, like, right. this is totally a fake image. A composite photo just means because the image is so and, big. Well, they're just going to jump all over that and say, see, this is fake. So that's a very famous but, So a very famous thing that they go to is there was this interview with this researcher or this uh, artist named, Sim I think his name was Simmons. His, like, Simmons! Last, his last name was Simmons. DuPont. Simmons DuPont. No, it's not Simmons DuPont, but his last name is Simmons. DuPont's and name. he did this interview, and it was called the Blue Marble Interview. And he did this interview where he took somebody through... And they did take a composite, and that's the, the picture that was on like iPhone backgrounds for a long time of Earth. And this guy created this composite image for NASA, but he did it in such a way that like he had to take the clouds out of one part and put it in here, and take the water out in this part. So flat earthers jumped all over it, saying, like, look, you see? You see? They're retouching all these photos. We've never actually been to space. They're just using computer simulations. But what about all, all the photos? But what about all the hours and hundreds of hours of footage from the space station? That's what I want to say. So if you want to go online, you can go online right now. And if there's a flat earther watching this, they're going to say, whoa, you <gasps> idiot. That's fake. But there's U.S. satellites like Discover. Everything's fake. That's their only cop out. That's their that's only the excuse for everything. That's, that's fake. That's Everything's weak, fake. That's such a fake, weak excuse. Fake. What, what, what? That, my big question is... We talked about this earlier because it's infuriating. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it fake? Why do they think people are faking the Earth is round? What, what is benefit, the benefit do so, people have? And you said it's it, flat earthers flat think it's so NASA can get money, they can get money. given to them because yeah. it's this fake operation. They're just taking the money and using it. But for but that, how is NASA making money? What are they doing with the money? Like just living rich lives? Yeah, so they just the government buying using Porsches. It. But but for that to be, but, possible, but to do that to fake it, it would start, cost so much money to fake the Earth being round right. and fake these moon landings and fake and to tell every single person that gets on an airplane to go to Australia. This is different. This is different. Oh yeah, in every you're airline you're on, you there's a projection jumping, outside the window. You guys are starting to jump all around. Let's focus on one thing at a time. It's, it's, it's just makes me. Sickly so, frustrated. Let me let me address your this this first thing. Let's let's stick let's stay on topic before we start jumping bouncing around to all these different things because there's so many different things that we could talk about. So for that to be possible, so let's just entertain for a second that NASA is in fact doing this super dupe on everybody and they're funneling money through the space program, trillions of dollars. We've never been to space, we've never launched satellites, we like who knows how cell phones work? They they're magic. They're not they're not operating in any way whatsoever. Um, let's entertain that. Now these for, people can't really think that. Now for that to be possible, and they're saying that NASA, because a lot of these people are in the United States, so it's NASA. So for that to be possible, 
every single government on Earth mm -hmm. would have to be working for NASA. For NASA. Right? Yeah. For an American organization. The whole globe, every person on Earth is all like, all just, right, NASA, we want you to be rich. All to just right. fool the entire population of the Earth so that NASA can make a few million dollars. Trillions. Trilli no, trillions of dollars for the space program. Like, NASA is big, but for that to be possible, Russia would have to be on it. Poland, even if those Australia, rockets, Japan, even if, like all But even all if those of rockets are empty, it still would cost millions, millions of dollars billions. to those, shoot empty rockets. Those, those bill billions of dollars. Do you know how much a rocket costs? Billions of dollars. Like, well, they probably like, think it's all just CG and there's no real rocket. Right. They think okay. it's all, all, everything's just fake all well, the way through. All, all the people like, I'm sure I can bring a flat earther to like, Cape Canaveral. But then they will say, I'm not really here. It's a hologram. You're the, tricking me. You so gave the, me drugs. Yeah, but the problem They'll with, say anything. The problem with that is that even if you convince that one flat earther and then put them on video as being like, they went to get you, you put them, NASA agreed, sure, we'll shoot this guy into space and like he'll ride along with the astronauts and like he'll believe it. They, like he would come back and he would immediately be called a shill by all the other, they'd be like, they paid you off. They paid you off too. You're just an actor. You're an actor, not. They call that ass. Okay, fine. And one by one, we'll send them all to space and we'll pay them all off. That's what I want to do. So we can get rid of them. What I want to do is take a flat earther, put them on a rocket, right? And then when they're blasting into space, they'll say, oh, this is just a ride. This is a simulation. You're shaking it from the outside. Then say, if it's fake, open the door. Yeah, open the door to the, the vacuum of space I mean, if that, you think it's really fake. Ride, they would, and then they'll die, and they'll go, oh, and crap! That, during that rocket ride, it would be so insanely visceral and real. There's so they many, wouldn't be able to deny it. There's, ten, there's 10 Gs of force. Like, they're with... They're, like, if they were with in the, in the capsule with a real astronaut, this astronaut is... 40 years old, he's been training, I bet he's been if training you, since he was 18, he's like, he's in top physical condition, he's like a pilot. I bet if you took one of these people and you threatened their life, they would admit that they were lying. We're not going to threaten somebody's life. No, I'm just saying if you oh, did. Lying. Frank Castle said maybe Chevet has the answers to all these questions in his brown bag. That's possible. But... So I think the most I think we can we can agree. So right, so we can all. Agree. Yeah, Evie, I agree. There are a lot of people who launch rockets that are private and not the government. That's what I said to Tom the other day. I said, well, what about all the independent people who just shoot things in like, the sky? What about the guy who sent a Super Nintendo game into space and the guy and the guy who put a pizza pizza in space and Tesla sent the car into space? That's not the government doing this. Okay, they'll they'll so, just think the government paid those people to make those fake viral videos. So so why don't so why don't we train? So let's just leave it at that. I think we can all agree on this point with NASA. That for this to even be possible, every single government and private enterprise on work would ha on Earth rather would have to be working for or with NASA, and zero. It, yeah, it would, we can't even get people to agree on like any kind of like peaceful like treaties between countries. Why would they all agree to like fool the? Yeah, like, all these countries are at NASA. war. Yeah, they're like, oh, oh I hate you, but let's keep going with that fake let's NASA thing. That's really it's, great. It's so <laughs> implausible. And if you like real real talk right now, if you want to look at a photo of the Earth right now, uh, things like the Discover satellite, which is the U.S. satellite, the Japanese have the I think it's called the Himawari Eight, and these satellites display photos of the Earth. It's like every 10 seconds or something, they take a photo yeah. of the Earth. And it's not just the US, it's like every country has a satellite that's taking photos of the Earth. Not to mention, and this is something that I will mention that is like the stupidest thing that I I heard. Like one of the, there's so many stupid things. Wait, don't you believe in it? This is one of the, I believe in a lot of conspiracies, but this one is like, I was slamming my head against my desk looking at this one. But a lot of these people, like, a lot of these people are popular on like YouTube and stuff, like way more popular than we are. Like, well, it's because they're just like Alex Jones people, like right. making people so, believe garbage. A lot of them vlog or whatever from their cell phone. For their cell phone to work, you need a satellite. For their cell phone to That's work. That's what I said. So the explanation that I heard is, well, and a lot of these people are from like the like southern states, like oh, like or like the Midwest, like Nebraska and mm. Omaha and stuff. So they say like, well. We don't have satellites, but the government has planes flying around all the time with communications equipment, and that's how cell phones work. Oh my god. There's just planes they, flying can around. Can you imagine the amount of money that it would Just take? planes flying around with communications, telecommunications. Can you imagine the amount of but and on those planes there's no windows to show that it's around Earth. And once I mean, I think it would honestly have to be 
almost a global effort of all the world's population to sustain this. This would be... This would require... The human power that it would take. This would require 99.9999999% of the Earth working in conjunction just to fool the thousand flat earthers that are out there. Yeah, like, how is that worth it at all? It's... Yeah, like, this This one This one is bananas. Himawari 8. It's the Himawari 8, yeah. But you can go online right now and just look at pictures of the Earth. It takes pictures of the Earth, and that's a Japanese satellite. It's not... And the U.S. has the Discover... It's like there are satellites taking pictures of the Earth. I will admit that, like, yes, this NASA artist, digital artist, did admit in an interview that for the photo that was but used that wasn't for the, a secret. It wasn't a secret. He made a video, and he was like, here's how I made the iPhone background. I did it like this. I took – he was making a composite photo for display purposes, and then they used it as the iPhone background. What's like, next on your list? So Nathan started talking about, and we'll get into that because this is another thing that all the flat earthers, this is like something they hang their hat on. They say that this is irrefutable. This is the mic drop for them that they like won't even listen to you if you disagree with this. Uh, they talk about, so Nathan talked about what about like, uh, you know, there's like Felix Baumgartner and like all those like guys that like jumped off at like the, the earth's edge and all that stuff. And they say like, so flat earthers say there's no curve. Yeah. There's no curve to the earth. This is one of the things they hang their hat on. So, one thing that I heard is that, like... Well, we know that. They think it's flat. Right. But, like, the, a common thread that I saw in a lot of their videos and, like, pictures and stuff, they'll show a picture that's, like... They'll show, like... It's, like, a still. And it doesn't show curve, right? But do you realize how large the earth's horizon is? Like, they just show a still and they go... And the guy's like, look, bro... <laughs> I, I showed yeah, you. Uh, yeah. There's it's such no... a tiny slice of the. Uh, but then, line. like, they would have to pan across the entire, like, horizon of the Earth. But they show, like, a still. Yeah, but also, when you. You, you don't even have to go to space to see the world is curved because. No. You can go up into, like, the There's things hemisphere like, or, and just see. Nathan, if you look on, like, uh, something that I saw, like, that or people can do. If you go to the top of, uh, of uh, the Himalayan or Mount Everest. If you go to the like those climbers that climb to the top of Mount Everest, it's the highest point of ele of elevation that you can reach on Earth, like by like climbing stuff. Yeah, I know, yeah. You can see the curve of the Earth. Like these people that and thousands of people have climbed Mount Everest and they've taken photos. So every single person who's climbed Mount Everest, hundreds of people or whatever, like I don't think it's thousands. It's like uh, like whatever. Like I mean, a lot of people go up partially, but those people can see the curve of the Earth. Yeah. Do you know what the, one of their excuses is? Like the flat earthers all say, they go, fish eye lens cameras. Fish eye. That and that's something that makes me super annoyed about this. Fish eye lens. Fish, whatever they. What was it I said yesterday? Because that would mean everything is warped from that picture. Everything. Even when it's not outside of the Earth. It's all fish when eye it's lens on cameras. Earth, and this is for when when it's launching. You said. No, you're talking about if someone's on top of a mountain. Like in general, like everything, like it will like from space, like Felix Baumgartner jumping off. Like so, why when the person takes a picture from another angle, it's not bent? They just say it's they. They just immediately go to like fish eye lens, bro, GoPro, fish eye lens. So, well, here's my question. So, when the rocket is taking off and there's a GoPro on the outside of the rocket or a uh -huh. camera, and it's on Earth pointing down at the rockets or they the say they switch to a fish eye lens or something. And it's the same lens. They Once it's in that it. space, it's bent, but it's all oh, they switch the lens. Down the they don't want to hear it. They say someone climbed down and switched the lens in the, in the sixties and seventies. The two common threads that I heard about like these photos or this photography is that like the trick photography is from fisheye lenses, and also it's from like it's like they show like a little clip, like just like a, a still, and then they say, "Look, there's no curve." And of course, if you just take this tiny little section. Yeah. It's not going to display curve, but then if you show the entire expanse of the, yeah, like because the Earth's too big to see the Earth is too our perspective to see the curve. This is the same argument that, and this is something that this is another thing that they really hang their like this is part of it where they hang their hat on it. And I believe it was um, uh, Bedford, I think was the guy's name, and this was like a pretty famous experiment in the eighteen. This, like this was like something that they talk about. So I think his name was Bedford, and it was in the eighteen hundreds. And he sent, his whole thing was he wanted to prove the earth was flat. 
So he sent a boat down a river in Great... And this is something Helen probably could talk about. She, he sent somebody down a boat in Great Britain, and it went something like six miles or something. And his theory was that if the Earth was flat, he's like, I'm going to be able to see that six miles from now. And everybody was like, no, 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 no. The Earth is like, with elevation, changes. And this was a man-made channel, and like, so it's all, you know, whatever. And he was able to, like, his whole thing was like, he could see some of it, like, miles and miles away. And he's like, see? Flat. <laughs> but like, well, because once it hits the horizon, he wouldn't get to see it anymore. Right. And, like, a lot of these flat earthers say that, like, like with the naked eye, if you see a boat in the distance with the naked eye, you can't see it anymore. So that they're like, but then if you use, like, they're using super high-powered telephoto lenses and stuff like that. And they're like, look, with this lens and with this camera, I can zoom in and I should not be able to see this craft any longer, but I can see this craft. No, you can't. But also you're seeing that like, once again, the earth is so large. Of course, if you use a telephoto, like a lens with a super high powered scope. Yeah, but you just have you'll to be get able to the point where you go beyond the horizon. Eventually you're not gonna see this thing anymore. Yeah. But their argument is even like because they can see this ship, like you can't see it with the naked eye, but then if you use a high powered lens, you can see it. They're like, look, flat, boom. It's <laughs> all stupid. Stuff. So Nathan. Do you, do you have any things you're gonna show us tonight? Yeah, if you wanna pull up, uh, it's, a, it's a flatter thing with the, it's a photo of the uh, skyline of Chicago. And that's something that I've, that's something that I have heard is that they say, oh look, the skyline of the skyline of Chicago. You shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't be able to see that. What do they mean? They should. They're morons. They don't know what they're talking about. They but then if you like but then if you look, like they're like you shouldn't be able to see the Sears Tower at like certain elevations, right? But you should be able to see it because. If but then the they world don't. Was flat, but then they don't take into account that like, you can see. You can't see all the buildings. You can see some of the buildings that rise above the horizon on a clear day. But it's all elevation and like telemetry. Yeah, I know. And all that but stuff. when they are saying you should be able to see if the Earth, they're saying the Earth is flat. So, so you can see where I am. You can see everything. I know. Infinitely. So from where I am, I should be able to see Mount Everest if I look east. From here, that's their thing. Yeah. But I can't see Mount Everest if I look east. Right. So the, the Earth can't be flat. So they postulate that if you had a powerful enough lens, you'd be able to see it. And those lenses exist. But you still because we can look at Jupiter with a telescope, so we can point that telescope straight over at, uh, Everest from Glendale, and you would be able to see it. A horizon if you line have a tower. from the sixty miles distance. Right. And then there's a shot below with a horizon line from really far away off the city, but you, it's too like you know sunset. But there's you can't see the Earth behind. Right. The but city. They're, like they're saying that because you can see anything, it it, it explains that the Earth is flat. But then they're not taking into account that like some of the buildings disappear because of like there's different elevation levels of the yeah, water and yeah. everything. Yeah. And you can only see like A, it's a super clear day. B, you're using a lens or something. And C, you're only seeing the buildings that rise above they're that elevation what, wait, level. Wait, why are they saying the proof? That, okay, they're just saying if you see, you're, they're saying because you can see anything. Because you can, so because I can look out here and see my neighbor's house, I, that means the earth is flat? No, but at a distance. Now imagine you can see your neighbor's house. Like you, so if I go up on top of the mountain and I look out and I can see the ocean, that is proof that the earth is flat. At a certain level, yeah. To them. To them. But if I can see the, if the earth was They're flat. They're saying you should be able to see Japan. That's what I mean. So if I go up there. But you can't see Japan. But you I can't. It's I can possible. clearly see where the ocean meets the horizon. It's not a fade and fuzziness of distance. But they're it's saying that Oh yeah, according to flat Earth, if you went to like the one edge of the Earth and the other and had a super strong telescope and went up high enough, you, you could, could see, see a guy waving to you from the right. other side. Right, yeah. yeah, so that's the Bedford experiment. So why have they not done this to prove it? They're saying that there's not strong enough lenses to yes, do Yes, there are. What about the ones we look at the moon with? That are 230,000 miles away. Well, they also say that the moon is much... They, they also well, they, go, they won't use it for some reason, just so they don't have to be proven they, wrong. But they... So, let's... let's well, ODs has a good point. He said, if I look west, I can see Bob. <laughs> so... That's true. We yeah, need to tell true. the Flat Earthers that. So, just to, just to wrap up the Chicago skyline thing. So, the no curve, uh, they don't take into account that these videos and photos... 
They don't take into things that account like the oh, height of the selective. Of what they're, they're select. Doing. They're selective. They don't take into account the height of the buildings, the depth of the water. The videos would suggest that just because you can see the buildings from far away, similar to the boats theory, uh, that the Earth must be flat, and that's it's just not. It's not true. It's it's not taking into account anything else. It's. I mean, honestly, all this sounds like when I was like seven, and I would try to make logic about like fake. Right. Places and like fairy tales, and you know these are excuses you make up as to why. Yeah, it's just basically anything to push your argument and not be wrong. Yeah, but it also and sounds it's very juvenile. It doesn't even sound intelligent. That, that it is, sounds like a kid. So it's funny you mentioned that. I did notice this is like not a like this is just like a, a little observation that I I made with like reading some of the articles and going to like websites and like watching videos. I will say that uh, while they malign society, like this is a common thread in like every video I watched. They maligned society for being narrow-minded about their beliefs. Uh, they and, what? They malign society. They say like, they say like, if the earth, like, if you were open-minded and just accepted this, like, you would understand you mean that if you were you... ignorant and you accepted So, it? but they present their belief, like, they're not open-minded. They present their belief. I know, as if this is they, the way. They present their belief as absolute truth and fact. But then they, like, dig everything else as being like, no. Why is it considered open-minded if you come from the perspective of round Earth to flat Earth, and not if you come from flat they think Earth we're to part round of, Earth? They think we're part of like like a lot of them are super religious, and they think this is part of some Satanist conspiracy. Can I like, against the thing? Can I say the other thing that I think is really annoying about them? What's that? I just forgot. What did you just say, Seth? That made me think of it. About them not going one way to the other. Closed-minded. They're, they're oh, closed-minded. Oh yeah. So this whole let me show this image here. Why is it? That every other planet is round out in space, but Earth is flat, yet there is a dome. If that dome we, we was formed dome. and shaped and rounded, wouldn't eventually the dirt and rock that makes up Earth be crushed into a round shape? If the freaking dome is like, well, the Earth's flat, but there is a round dome so, to keep us safe. Like, why is that there? They had round? to make that kind of exception to sort of keep some of those. Validity. And so, why is it that every other planet and everything in space ends up becoming round except for this Earth? This yeah. one planet. So they say, and this is something I, I, I did think about as well. And so what they say is that every other, and it's a, it's a, everything is a very convenient truth for them. Yeah. So what they say is that the reason that the Earth is flat and all the other planets are round is that the Earth is the center of the universe. But and that why it, does, it can exist as a flat? But why does B? But why? What does the center of the universe have to do with? Why yeah. make it square? Why does the shape change? Because wouldn't it be more round since it's that much more pressure? Well, well, in the center, it's more like. Why does the orientation else? of your planet have anything to do with the shape? They well, they said that the dome, the combination of the dome, our placement in planetary alignment with all yeah. the other planets, yeah. it just prevents us from. They, it's just a convenient like they're like they don't explain clearly they just say well we're the center we don't have that's this is another thing that we need to talk about they don't believe that the earth has gravity so because we don't have gravity we're the center of the earth and that the other planets all r rotate around us they also say that the sun and the and we're going to have to talk about the dome they say that the sun and the moon are in the dome and they're not hundreds of millions of miles away what? thousands of miles so they're just floating they're right above us. But they said there's no gravity. They're just circular. They're going around us like a spot. But they say there's no such thing as gravity. So how are those things just floating up there? So where? Oh wait, does that mean we're floating? What? No. They're definitely contradicting themselves somewhere in there. So when they ask, when people ask about that, they say, okay, well then why am I not like just flying off the Earth? Like a, we're protected by a giant dome that is surrounding the Earth that prevents us from escaping. What is the dome made out of? Well, we'll get to that in a second. And then B, just to address gravity. They say that the reason that you stay where you are and you don't just drift away yeah. is that rather than gravity, which is, you know, the Earth is moving uh, oh, around. We're always moving up like an elevator. We're always moving up like an elevator. Which and so us. is every other planet, everything around us, every, Mars and all Because it all rotate, they rotate around us so, in a gravity. So they're saying that everything is perpetually just going up. It's because they had to think of something. It's like, oh, we got to have some excuse up, for gravity. Yeah. Are going they're saying that space is infinite and we are just moving up. And that everything is rotating. But wouldn't this dome? Us? But say if, if you put a dome over something, wouldn't that counter the pressure effect? The dome keeps everything in. 
But like, if you yeah. put a lid on something and, and then, it's an airtight thing, and then I, I, I you know, I, I guess you could still have pressure. But if in our space, there's no gravity out there, so you would have no true, gravity within this ball. For that to be true, every star in the galaxy in the universe has to also be moving upward at the same Everything's rate. Moving. What a ridiculous! Everything's they can't moving. truly believe this. Honestly, the miracle of Earth in the universe is more believable Wait, happens, than all this nonsense. What happens when you get to the edge of the Earth and there? There is no edge. Flat. They say that it's in, oh, like the, the edge of the Earth. Yeah, and then you go around it. What happens then? They don't have an explanation. Like I watched this interview with uh, one of the head flat Earth guys, was like Mark something, and like they ask him questions like that, like. They're like, well, what's in the earth? Like, what's in the center? Like, do you can you drill through the other side? And he'll say something. He'll he'll say things like, I think the furthest we've drilled down for like oil or whatever is like seven miles into the yeah. earth. And he's like, you think the furthest we've drilled down is seven miles? I don't know if we can go through the earth. Yeah, but what about when you come to the end? I wish we were laughing and having more fun about this with this because it's such a ridiculous topic, <laughs> but ridiculous. it just makes us so mad. But what, what about when you come to the edge? They're saying How, so. What happens? You step up on the edge. So you, you ask a lot of use a rope and you go down. The side. Everything is just like this. So with flat Earth, everything is like you'll ask one question, but no then everything is just like question. it's just like uh 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 uh. We need to keep keep going, keep going, keep going. There's another ridiculous thing. Huh, here's another ridiculous thing. There's so many things with all of this that it's it's mind numbing. It's like every so. The, I feel like the way that flat Earth was created is that somebody like you was asking some guy, being like, well, what about that? And he's like, uh, it, it's all, it's a banana cream pie. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like spitballing and yeah, like things yeah, are just yeah. coming out. Oh so, my God. Buffalo uh, Halo Hopscotch had a good comment in here. He said, my favorite flat earth thing is that flat earth Facebook page bragging that they have members all around the globe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the globe. It does? And they, and they're mentioning the globe in their statement about being that? popular. Something else, you might, so. something else you might want to pull out is that this is like another thing that they always like say that like they're like, look, see, hidden in plain sight. They say that the logo of the UN is actually a map of flat earth hidden in plain sight. And it's like it's like the government, like the governments of the earth. These are just people who I have like how also to do. the world is going to such billions of dollars of extremes to for no hide, benefit to, no no to hide to hide all this earth being flat yet they're still going to put hints in just to like just you know. well no just to like yeah who would do that if you're going to that much earth if they went to that length the covers of the earth why would they be like oh yeah um and we put it on the flag oh crap jeff you put it on the flag no, yeah uh, no 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 it's no but no, they're saying it's, it's intentional they're saying it's intentional if they're saying it's like hidden in plain sight like here, they'll never, they'll never guess it now. Oh, that's so contradictory to everything else they're saying. I also want to point out that a lot of these videos, this is, uh, well, we'll do that. We'll, we'll go, I'll get back to this, actually. Um, Drayden said there's also a theory that people legitimately believe, uh, a theory called Pac-Man effect, where when you, get, side. when you get to the edge of the world, you teleport to the other yeah, side, like I, when you go off screen in a Pac-Man game. I, I, I've, I've heard that I mean, as well, but, I but mean, would I, they have I, thought I of that if Pac-Man like had never come out? Nope. They wouldn't have something to compare it to. I, I will also say this is a common thread that I saw in a lot of the videos I saw. That if I and this is something that's kind of funny, I have never seen so many uses of like Matrix clips of like red pill, blue pill, oh and like uh, and clips of like the Truman Show and like oh him waking up. Goodness. And they show that and they go, they go like they always say like Hollywood knows and like they'll show and it's like oh. I should have wore my told you shirt. Yeah, so, yeah. But, they, but they show like. All the videos show a clip of like Truman like going through the dome, and they're like, "Look, see." And Look, like, here's a totally fake movie. And then they, made up. and then they show like the the Simpsons movie had the dome, and they all show the clip of like the dome being broken. Wait, it goes from them saying Hollywood is the one telling you the world's round, and then they're saying, "But look." Hollywood's telling us that the world is flat. Well, yeah, they're saying, like, ho <laughs> they Holly, just, ho It's so contradictive. Everything is contradicting itself. Well, they're saying that because... At first, they were penalizing the Hollywood for saying, oh, you're giving the impression that the Earth is round. Right. And then now they're saying Hollywood is actually telling us that the Earth is round. Well, they're flat. saying that, like, people in Hollywood know, so they're, like, joking about it a little bit and, like, putting these hints in. It makes you just not take these people like, But, like, they all show they all show clips of, like, it's all the same, like... Like, I, I saw a ton of The Matrix, a ton of the, I, like, one clip I saw, this one was the funniest, because I read the comment, it was a comment in the YouTube video, they showed a clip from the Resident Evil movie, of, like, an underground base, and, like, people, and I was like, the Resident Evil movie, I'm like, why are you, and then somebody was like, 
you they were like you lost me when you showed the clip from the Resident Evil movie they were like well, why what was the point they were just showing like governments like in underground like bases oh, and like no. they're, like they're just showing like but isn't it saying, saying to them that, that they're backing their whole thing up off of like these fictional works of art but they're saying it's like the people know and they're including this stuff deliberately <laughs> But it's like, why? Why? Why are you? Anybody who's really creative would not do that. It would not jeopardize their art just to put in some stupid wink or a head nod. Yeah. To like it's, the flat Earth thing, they would be more interested in telling their story. Yeah, it's bananas. Unless it's like, oh, I love uh, The Shining, so I'm gonna put in a little part. Like, you want to show some of these? Clips. Well, let's let's just talk really briefly, and I, we, I just we gotta show some of these clips. We'll show some of these clips. I do just want, so we'll we'll show the clip in a second about the rocket hitting the dome. So but then we'll talk about that. So before we do oh that, oh my god, one of the space shows blew up. They said they no, 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 no. So before we do that, I will just say that a lot of these people that, and not all of them, some of them are like conspiracy people, but a lot of them say, and I, I anybody out there who's religious, like I don't, I'm not saying anything like good or bad about religion. I am just saying that a lot of them mention that the globe earth is a satanist mega conspiracy meant to discredit the teachings of the bible which do mention like uh, uh, uh like a protection dome type thing and also so in it's also like not like and i, I will one say person decided we're yeah gonna cover, we're so, gonna just call it round and a lot of them reference in biblical cosmetology despite the bible well like, they so they say that the dome in Bib- and you'll see this mentioned, like this term mentioned in a lot of these videos. They say that the dome in biblical cosmetology is mentioned as the firmament. So instead of a dome, they call the structure or this like layer as firmament, which is a structure above the atmosphere of the earth conceived as a vast solid dome. According, it's solid. It's solid. In this picture, the moon is so low, freaking Kobe Bryant could jump and touch it. Right, it's super low. In the so- sun. That would burn us to death if the sun was this close. <laughs> Also, the sun is like a quarter the size of Africa. Right. Oh my um, so, uh, it, oh my! It just rotates. They spin around. Is that so, what they say? Let, let me just finish this thing. About Sorry, the this is blowing my so, mind. The dome. In so, I'm just making the point here that a lot of these people reference like mentions of a dome in biblical texts. So they say that God created this firmament to separate the waters above, and this is in Genesis. So to separate the waters above the earth from the waters below the earth. The word is anglicized from the Latin fermentum, which appears in the Vulgate, a late 4th century Latin translation of the Bible. So they're saying that because this... But the whole thing about the Bible, believe it, don't believe it. But there's, The there's, Bible is open for its metaphor. It's you're like saying it's that they say that the earth, the dome is solid. It's so, like we can't get out of it. So even if we wanted to go to space, and how do they explain can't. the setting and the rising of the planets and the sun? They do, well, so yeah. Where does the sun go? Uh, it spins to the left or right. They say that the sun and the moon are just—it's just rotating around like this, and it's like a spotlight. So it rotates. So the the Earth is flat, right? Like it's like flat, like yeah, this. Yeah, and they're saying that the sun is the sun is just—it's just going around and spinning around. I'm, it's I'm just looking spinning at the picture right now. Like, but what about when we watch it set? It never sets. It just goes around in a circle. No, it doesn't go left to right. It goes north. They're saying it moves around like, but they say it moves around like a spotlight. It's like kind of a curved orbit. But it doesn't make sense in, no, in the they, direction of what it actually but does. But if this is the Earth, wouldn't, this, wouldn't they say the sun is doing this? Yeah, it's moving. It, like, it's got a curve, right? But so you it, can't get out the dome, so it wouldn't be able to do that. But it's moving like, it's moving like, it, it's moving in a semi I hate them. Let's show this video. Yeah, so the video, this, Nathan, is this the clip of the rocket? Yeah. So supposedly, this is compelling evidence of a rocket hitting the dome and bouncing off of it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but we need to see this. All right. Hang on, I'm going to play it. Okay. So we're been playing been it now. We're we're, we're kind of we're not looking at it in real time. We're looking at it on like the Twitch thing. Space. All systems are going on. Yeah. You guys are lagging. Yeah, so we're like lagging. kidding the guy. Okay. So we're a little behind. So we're watching it on Twitch. So Nathan will probably see it. It's like a little rough. They're saying that yeah, it's 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 bananas. Yeah. Okay, so it's launching. It's launching. And and they're they're saying that this is 
this rocket hit the dome and bounced off. And I'll wait until it. Let, let's wait until it ends on 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 our end. So like to give like what I think this is. It's spinning so fast. So seventy three miles. No, it's not fake, D trucks. It, it's real. Like this is actually a rocket that launched, but they it has been appropriated for flat Earth. <laughs> this footage. Yeah, it's kind of a, a you gotta get sick watching this a little bit. So it's spinning. Hitting the dome. Okay, so it runs out of fuel. It doesn't hit anything. It ran out of fuel. Wait, why is that hitting the dome? They say that it didn't run out of fuel. They're but saying why it, does that to them tell it's hitting the dome? They were like, look, it stopped. It didn't stop, it was still moving. It was still spinning. But it ran out of fuel. But they're saying that it because stopped. Because it stopped spinning so fast, they think it hit. But if it had hit the dome and like stuck in, it would have like not moved well, at all. But the thing is that they didn't couldn't see. All they saw was the spinning stop and it slowly spun. It's still going. It's still going up. Well, you can't see the ground going a lot smaller and smaller at that point because it's so high up. But also, if it smaller. hit the dome, it would have right. changed trajectory. It would have bounced off. Yeah. But if it hit a dome, it would have just stuck Stuck there and stuck to the top. Of it the would dome. have it would have gone bonk. It, it would have gone boom and crashed or like gone along the dome for a second and then fallen down to the earth. It very. I think these people or smash. I think these right. people it mostly completely broke it. I think right. these people mostly do this because they like to see people like us get they frustrated. Watch, <laughs> it us mad. It very. This video very clearly shows a model rocket run out of fuel. But <laughs> also, stuck. like Nathan said, if it if it was if it hit the dome, I feel like two things would happen. One, it would penetrate the dome like a dart into a dartboard and just stick and hang right there. Uh -huh. So it wouldn't have continued to rotate slowly. It would have just stopped totally still. Or it would have bounced. And then if it did bounce, it would have totally changed its trajectory. And that camera angle suddenly would be pointing up or to right. the side. Or you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it, it's, yeah. I hate that I'm even giving this. It's been in it. Any, oh. any tension because it's so... One funny. last thing that I do want to point out, like another another key... I just realized I had my mic muted. You probably couldn't hear anything I was saying. Uh, probably couldn't mm -hmm. hear what Nathan was saying. Well, you might have been able to hear the whole time? Was... No, just when I was saying what I think happened to the rocket. Um, so one thing that I will point out, it's another thing that they always talk about, is air travel. Um, if the Earth was a globe, it would be quite easy and fast to get to one point or another on a globed Earth, right? Yep. Oh, that's where you'd be wrong, my foolish friend, because uh, the Earth is flat. And so well, yeah. what... I can look at this picture and I forgot. That's what it looks like. Flat Earth says that because the Earth is flat, the land masses are actually further apart than they are in a globe. And if you want to pull up uh, like a flat map mm -hmm. and just show that. So they're saying that the land masses are actually much further apart. And this has created the need for connection flights, <laughs> which explains that because the everything is further apart... Uh, and a globe dirt, they needed to create these connection flights. And now every air traffic controller, every pilot, the aviation industry in general is all in on it. And they don't, uh, they're, they're not spilling the beans that uh, they're not flying around a globe dirt, they're flying around a flat earth. And that they're not telling every single pilot ever and every you know single person in the aviation, you know aviation crazy? industry is not telling. It's crazy is that we can't convince everybody to vote for the same president. <laughs> In one yeah. country, never mind convincing every single airline employee mm -hmm. around the entire world. And no one's going to not the tell guts. this secret. And not one person spills the guts. When people spill the guts all the time about Hollywood gossip and yeah. government conspiracies, yeah. like people or government, like you what know, kind of po politicians doing are. sketchy stuff, it, everything comes out. It's this would have come out if there was a secret this big. Well, maybe they say it has come out because they figured it out, and they're the ones that. Found if, out. If there was this, would have, this would have to be the biggest conspiracy ever in the history of mankind. And, and everyone universe. is so together on the it. The history of the universe. The history of the universe, and only the flat earthers have figured it out. If you knew something like that, if I worked for the airline and I found out that the world was really flat, uh, you couldn't pay me. Enough money to not tell. You'd be on every talk show. Oh, okay. Well, so that would make so know, much but, more money. But you know what would happen? You know what would happen? You'd sound like a conspiracy theorist, like the flat right. earthers. No, because if I could really prove it. 
If it was true, I'd be Yeah, if you had to. proof. I'd be able to. Well, yeah. they think they have the proof, and they've showed us. Maybe we're just not believing the hard evidence they're showing us yeah, right in front of us. Evidence. Um, I'm looking at some pretty hard evidence right now. So I, This is a pretty nice image. And I, 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 I know that people in the chat have probably already said this. I will be remiss, because I know that everybody always tells me to mention it because it's a government conspiracy, is that Flat Earth is actually a government psyop that is being put on by the CIA... And it has been suggested that the possible reasoning for the rise of flat earth theory, theory is a secret government psyop intended to divide us and distract us from the more pressing world issues. And who is behind this nefarious plot? The globalists and the CIA. Specifically what is being done is that a CIA black op is currently underway to discredit flat earthers by agents sent to disrupt the truth movement. So there's another thing so, behind all this? Take that. <laughs> So they're saying that people created the flat earth to dis- to distract us to distract us from something bigger going on. This is another rabbit hole that people are like people are like it's actually a government psyop. Why does everything stem from America? Because it's mostly Americans on YouTube saying that it's it's, it's stemming from America. Why is no other world power? It's such an American it's such an American thing that even for a conspiracy to say that it's America doing it it's like even in even in a nefarious conspiracy, America has to be they number have to take one. Credit. They have to take they ha- even even then, America has to take credit. <laughs> uh, but a lot of these conspiracy guys, they have conventions now. They have popular YouTube channels. They, they have websites. They have merch. They have books. They have maps. They have all sorts of stuff. They sell uh, they sell replicas of the. Speaking flag. of maps, should we move to the Nathan? What we gotta see this map, huh? Nothing. Let's go to this map. So I'll, I'll hold the map up closer. No, just sit there. So I can do it. So this is a map. You can zoom in on that? Uh-huh. Okay, so this is a map. It shows... This is not like a definite... This is one version of a flat of a flat Earth map. But as you can see, like this map has all sorts of like biblical references. This is like stupid though because it looks like it has dip to it. And it doesn't look flat. Yeah, it looks like a base. Yeah, it looks this, like it's a bowl. This one's not the best flat. There's a flat earth. There's a flat earth. Yeah, this is a better representation of what a flat earth is. That's a better representation of what a flat earth is. Oh my god. Okay, so I'll that. This isn't the best map because this shows like more of a concave. But this gives you the general idea of what they think that a... They think everything's all spread out. And this introduces us... This is all based on the fact that when they look, they see a flat horizon. Yeah. So, as you can see, the sun and the moon are... They're kind of circling around everything, and the North Pole's in the center, and it's all the land masses are kind of spread out like this. So you can see kind of like how they... Oh, this is the sun and the moon? Yeah. So this gives you an idea of how they visualize it. It's like one visualization of it. But this introduces us to a very important aspect of Flat Earth, the ice wall. The ice wall is what kind of holds the whole Earth in. So, Nathan, we've talked about the ice wall a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what they, what Flat Earth, and I'll put this down. So what Flat Earth says is that there is this thousand foot ice wall that holds all the water and everything in. And that's what's holding, that's what's keeping everybody from going over is that there's a thousand foot ice wall that surrounds everything. Thousand feet's not that high. No. So what they're saying is, so one would think that you should be able see it. to go to Antarctica or go to the outer edges of the earth and then explore this ice wall. But what they say is part of it is that every government starting in the 1950s and this was like in the middle of like Russia and the U.S. being in a cold war. But they're saying that every government on Earth is in on a, a, a conspiracy to prevent the public from going to the ice wall. And, and I will say that a lot of these videos showed the wall from Game of Thrones uh, as being like the prime example of an ice wall. But they're saying that there's an ice wall keeping everything in and that there's something. They, they don't, none of them say what, but they say that there is something so secret that the military and all the governments can't let people go to oh the wall God. and find out about it. So they're stopping every single human being on Earth? From going to the ice wall. So there must be an armed 
Perimeter. Perimeter. Yeah. Entirely around the whole. They're, they're saying it's like shoot on sight. Nobody can go there. Only like top secret military personnel can like go to the wall. And every single military person ever that's ever worked on the wall has not spilled the beans. And every country is working together. So that would take a lot of manpower. Million, I mean, millions of people. And I, I'm out of, first of all, maybe I'm out of manpower that doesn't even exist on this earth. And then second of all, what was preventing people from getting to the ice wall in 1850? They're, they're saying that it, we just don't have history of that. It's like we. But I have this. read a book about a man who sailed around. The There's world tons alone. of people that have explored Antarctica. There's tons of people. No, but he sailed around the world alone. He never ran into a wall. They're saying that would be fake. They just go, "That's fake." But why? Why would that man have written that book in 1850 before there was a denial? They would say of the like, flat Earth. What was his agenda? They would just say he was a Satanist or something. But he had no means to defy flat Earth. He, you know what I mean? It wasn't a concept then. It that was, is see. That's what's so frustrating about flat Earth is that every point you make is valid. They would just argue. They would just say, "Nope, not true." I mean, they would just go, people must get hit. They and beat up. They would just call you. They would just call you a government shill. They would just go, you're a government show, you work for him, you work for Big Brother, you work for the man, you're a CIA disinformation agent. Oh my god. They would just discredit you. You guys, we're gonna open oh up the line god. a little bit. Nathan, what was the other video that we had to that we had to show here? The Obama one. We're gonna open up okay. the lines in a little bit. And please, if you're a flat yeah, earther, call us. We we wanna hear what you have to say. We really do. I will also say that this is another point that I wanted to make, is that this is in like tons of their videos. If you look at this glass of water. They, they pay attention. Yep. So they always say like, they they always there's so many memes and photos of this. They always go like, they always go look at this glass of water, Billy Bob. Water always finds its level. And they say that like, look at it, it's flat. So you think they would see a that, curve that, in that, that, that water? Flat. But they say that if you leave it, it's flat. But that isn't flat. But they always say that water just because you level. can see to your unsophisticated eye as flat. Exactly. But, uh, water has. It has a, a curve. It. it has yeah. a curve. It, everything does because the Earth is curved. Well, that's just because the way gravity works. But yeah. that's but that's what they say. They go the ocean. Like if you say like, what about that ship going over the? It's all flat. And they go to your naked eye, it appears to be flat because all you can see is what you can see with your eye. Mm -hmm. But just like if this was the ocean, you're staring out into the ocean. If this stretched for millions of miles, there's going to be changes in elevation and water depth. But what and tells them things. that the other planets are around them? The other, the other planets have gravity and we don't because we're moving up and they're moving around. But we don't have gravity. But they also are moving up, too, if they're coming with they're us. They're moving up, but they're also moving around. But gravity doesn't come from rotation. It's from spinning. No, gravity is from mass. It's from mass and also, like, movement. It has nothing to do with centrifugal force. Gravity comes from... But centrifugal force keeps you on the ground. You're no, moving. No, gravity keeps You're you moving at there. thousands of miles an hour. Gravity keeps you on the ground. Sounds like you could be a flat earther. So Gravity trying, keeps you, you on the ground. You're trying to discredit. You're just trying to discredit my information here. No, you're misunderstanding. No, I hear what you're saying. The, the rotation of the Earth has nothing to do with us being on the Earth. It's the size of the Earth, and it's an unknown force that we haven't figured out how to define. Of gravity, whenever a lot of see matter gets flat, together, see flat Earthers would take a, a flat Earthers power. would take your vagueness of it's something we haven't been able to define, and they would latch onto that, and they would just discredit you because you said something like that. But they can't discredit me because we're, because we're not stuck to the. It would feel different. It's it's bonkers. It's like because I've been moving forward or up in an elevator, and I can feel we could the keep, G force. We could keep this going all day. It's just it, it's yeah. Uh, well, that's what I'm asking. Why do they think that Saturn is round? They just think that we're flat because we're the center. But that doesn't make any logical but sense. Admit, that's not a reason. They admit that the other planet's around. That's what I'm saying. How do they know they're around? I, I, well, I don't have the... Yeah. I, I don't, know. I don't if, know. How do they know because that they're we... They're basing it off of plain sight. Why do they trust their eyes to see if Saturn is around? Yeah, why do they believe that they can see that those planets are around, yeah, but they, they don't the believe that we can see ours all at these, all? All these sheeple. They say that we can't even see ours. How can they see that the Saturn is round? And or Mars? They, and if there's not a power on a telescope... That's a them, question I want to ask. Why do they see Saturn people. and why do they believe in Saturn? 
I can't believe how long we the can the talk about how this. How do they know that the moon isn't a disc? We've been talking about this for 40 disc. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's move on. We're, I, I don't know, Seth. I don't know. Like, you're, you're asking questions. You're, would, we're arguing with ourselves because here. Because as far yeah. as they're concerned, it could just be a disc on its edge, and we're just seeing, like, a Frisbee. Uh, one more thing that I, I really wanted. This was, like, I watched a documentary on this, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so dumb. There's a new flat Earth thing. So, first of all, they don't believe in dinosaurs. They say the dinosaurs never existed. But the other thing that they also talk about in some of these videos is that volcanoes, plateaus, and all these other things are actually just fossilized remains of ancient tree stumps. And that That's trees, a flat earth thing? They think that like it, there's no trees on flat earth because these gigantic... No uh, trees? Well, they're not... Like the trees that we see now are just like twigs. And that these giant monoliths of trees used to exist on the real earth but now we're like we have these little twigs this is just a side earth. thing that they also they, they, they also they, yeah this is it's another thing that they believe in that's infuriating this is just a point of like a lot of these flat earth, others earthers also don't believe in trees and then they also don't believe in they don't believe in trees well they don't believe in like trees the way that they used to be what does that mean I just said that. They think that like volcanoes and mountains and stuff are the fossilized remains of ancient giant tree stumps. Yeah, but what about, so what about when they see a tree grow? They think it's... That's just like a tiny tree, like a twig. Yeah, so this is, this is unrelated. Oh, because they're not long, long enough I mean, to see has, a huge one get huge? Yeah. I don't know what this has to do with the earth being flat, but what they just, a volcano they, spews out lava? They, they just say that like a volcano is a tree stump. I, I've, I've watched other videos about that, but they also say that like, the point that I'm making is that many of these same flat earthers also say things like that. They also say that, like, these... So just not more nonsense. Just more nonsense. And they say that dinosaurs never existed. And it's bananas. Open up those lines. Yeah, listen. We are raging. Flat Earth... It's time. Flat Earth is bananas. We want to hear what you guys think. We want to hear what you guys think about Flat Earth because we've been talking... We've been talking about it for... Call in now. Call in now and let's talk... Put number on the screen. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the vast network of a government conspiracy that is Flat Earth. Particularly if you are a Flat Earther. Call in. If you're convince a, us. Will you convince us, please? If you're a Flat Earther, call us and give us the evidence because I can tell you, I am not convinced of this If, if a Flat Earther calls in and convinces me, I'll show them what's in the bag. Yeah, if you can convince Seth, he'll show you what's in the bag. For sure. Is the number up on the screen? Yes, it sure is. Nice. So, if anybody wants to call in... You may as well go scream at the tires of your car. You'll have a better time arguing that, said Dorlaxon. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait. He's replying to someone. Uh, what's, I'm missing the conversation in here. You might as well go... Oh. That, that's the idea. Oh, does it? We get most of he our oxygen from the ocean. Giving good advice. Um, I think they're talking about the Obama climate change thing. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have much to say and about that. That is for real. We need to stop driving and eating from factory farms. We shut down factory farms, and we also need to, and this is not me being on soapbox. This is facts. We all know it. Even the, everyone knows it now. Meat industry knows it. we got to stop eating garbage beef from factory farms and driving <laughs> disgustingly polluting cars uh-huh. ride a skateboard thrash it up go hard or go home just kick flip your way home save the planet so if any flat earthers are on the line call in the phone lines are the phone lines are hot or know. if somebody else has some other interesting nonsense that they know about flat earth or if they have any comments about the show mr wrestling can't call in because his phone is flat <laughs> your phone isn't real Anyone call in, please. If you've had a story, if you've heard anything from a flat earther, if you've seen suspicious th imagery. Or let us know how the show's going. Or let us know how you're feeling about the marathon so far. Mm -hmm. What you want to see on the marathon coming up. What are you looking forward to? Bob's cooking show is next. I'm going to do 50 backflips. <laughs> We're also going to get a perfect uh, finish on Night Trap, Night Trap tonight. We got a lot. Tom's gonna do a physical fitness test. Yeah, as this night's going on, I don't know how effective that one's gonna be. What? Physical the physical fitness, fitness test? You gotta do it. You need it. I said 30 years ago that you Florida wanna, would be under. You don't wanna break in half. Well, all 58 people are shy. 
Yeah, we have 58 shy shy streamers in here. Check the line. It still is, the, the line is working, and we we have no callers calling. The line was hot last time. Last time we did this, we got lots of calls. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Don't be shy. You're talking to us right now already. Uh -huh. Te text dealer talk. Yeah, electric motorcycles are great. I shot a commercial where they use electric motorcycle. It was awesome. You could, no one could hear the guy coming because it was just so quiet. Oh, really? It was no, awesome. Guys Someone said it was voicemail. Oh, really? So somebody tried to call in. Oh, maybe the ringer. Elastic one. box. Where's the phone? There we go. Oh, that's the ringer button. Oh, is that not really someone calling? No, I pressed the volume to make sure it was up. Oh. <laughs> Try calling it, Bert. Or I'll call. You're, you're picking your nose. <laughs> Well, the tissue, so it doesn't... Oh, so it's not gross. gross. <laughs> Went yeah. straight to voicemail, someone said. Really? Is yeah. it right? 818-330-9747? Uh, Can you call that number? Just to see if it'll ring. We probably did the wrong number, because this Wait. is Beyond Worlds, hey, and we don't get Nate? anything right. Oh, there it goes. That's me. What do you have in the number, today? 818-330-9747. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Hello, caller, you're on the line. What is the show called? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I'm not who knows. Yes, you are. Let me turn your volume. Uh, I got voicemail before. It was uh, Chet's lovely voice. That's uh, strange. I don't know. Maybe the phone had to warm up for you. Warm up. <laughs> it's, an old, it's an old phone. What, Thanks for calling. What's, what's your name? What's on your mind? What? Uh, well, I wanted to know if we could uh, get another experiment from Bob because the uh, <laughs> camera was fixed on uh, the dog, Frank. It was? Oh, you didn't switch? I swear I did. <laughs> you didn't switch the camera. Well, maybe I was looking at the wrong square on the program. You idiot. Did you guys not see what happened? You ruined it. All, oh. that, all that money you spent. Yep. you got to be kidding me. I saw it. Well, maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe we can tape it back together. Well, he smashed again. the globe. Yeah, Bob took a globe and broke it. Oh, my God. Nathan, you're not the tech master right no, now. No, I sure am not. I'm wearing a mummy suit. It's very difficult to do things over here. It's also really What do you think about the flat earth? I apologize. What do you think about the flat earth? Didn't see anything. Oh, my God. Too flat for me. Too flat. Yeah. Too flat to exist. Yeah. I freaking blew it. Well, thanks for calling. Thanks yeah. for calling. Let us know. We, we screwed maybe, up. Maybe we'll try to tape that thing back together. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give it away as a present. Hell uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Keep uh, it up, guys. Where are you calling from? Where are you calling, calling from? from? Uh, calling from San Diego. Uh, oh, cool. oh, nice. San Diego, the same the same place that uh that guy stole that tank a while ago. <laughs> Drove it around, oh, yeah. drove it around the city. You should look at that. You should look that up. It's a pretty crazy clip. Burger likes internet TV. Internet TV. Internet, internet TV. It's free. I think he's silent because that was him in that. Well, Seth, yeah, he's, he's, like, uh, he's well, like, oh, he well, saw that. Well, Seth, if you're on the internet, you're worldwide. Worldwide, not world flat. You're not world flat. You're worldwide web. All right, caller. We're gonna close, we're open up the line for the next caller. Cool. All right. Bye. 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 I can't believe I missed that. I hate myself right now. I can't believe it either. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh my Just Bob God. just coming in and destroying a globe. Were you looking at the wrong part of the I was probably looking at the wrong box. This program gets a little well, confusing. All's well that ends well, I would oh say. God. Well, oh caller, uh, God. callers, we need, another, we need another caller here. We can repair that globe and have him do it again. If any callers have any... Anything uh, not really worth it. Any government data they would like to share with us. We will, uh... Is Tom, is Tom getting his head shaved again? Uh, uh, it's not really worth it because know. his hair is not long enough to make to ruin. It'll just grow back in two weeks and it'll just yeah. look like it is now. Have we gotten any donations? Yeah, there's been some. We gotta Thank pay for you. this phone line. Yeah, that's something, that, that's something that we will say. If you can donate... Please do so. Donating and subscribing is a way to keep this whole project alive. Yes, so. we're trying to hit 2,500 followers. Please, please, please subscribe. But we're also a trying follow to follow the yeah. Twitch. We're also trying to get some do some donations in here. Donations. Yeah, yeah. Do so if you can donate, if you have it within your means, uh, your support means a lot, and it definitely keeps it keeps the lights on in here so that we can keep this project going. Because otherwise, this is a we all need to go out and 
work at Ralph's, the grocery store. Work at Ralph's supermarket and not do this. Uh, Frank wants to know if Chuffet has any other inventions he's working on. That's another show, man. How do you donate on a PS4? Um, I don't know. Another invention, though. I guess you'd have to go on like your can phone. You do- on the are you Twitch watching app. on a PS4? Yeah, well, you can download the Twitch app on a PS4. I had no idea. Yeah, you can watch it on there. Should we so should we see what's in Chepard's bag? If someone calls again, I'll tell them. The next caller, we will reveal what's in Chepard's bag. What's in Chepard's bag? And we will. How many followers do we have? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how many followers we have. Oh, we got a bunch. We got a bunch more. We did. Yeah, we're up to twenty three ninety five. I think we started. We got like ten. Twenty three ninety five. Yeah. We're almost at twenty four. Yeah. If you guys aren't following, please follow. We're so close to twenty four hundred. Yeah, we need at least twenty four. Oh, Karak gave a hundred chaos emeralds. Hey, thank you. Karak, thank you. D trucks PVC Kar- is in Atlanta Karak said right now. He donated a hundred. He donated a hundred, which is like a dollar. He wants to know what's in your bag. He donated. Oh, that's what. He, he donated a dollar. He wants to know what's in the bag. Tell you one thing that's in the bag. He'll tell you one thing, but not all of them. Could be a government conspiracy. Could be a conspiracy. Two. 40 20, bucks! Two $20 star notes. Where'd you get $40? Wait a second. We don't have $40. Star notes. Interesting. Let's see that star. Does anybody see know here. what a star note is? I got it. You can stay there. I got it. I got it. Sit really? down. Really? Yeah, move. You're ruining it. You're ruining it. You have to sit down. But can you zoom in? No. You, okay, I have to do a oh, lot. Oh, Just sit down. I got control of the whole show. Yeah. yeah. Seth you can't has a, zoom the camera. Of course Seth, I can. Seth has a crazy amount of money right now. Why does it look like it's zooming? It's, it, it is. That's more money than you ever had. It's not money I can spend. It's uh-huh. star notes. I have to save them. Wow. <laughs> Can you see the star? Yeah. Chevin definitely stole forty dollars. I don't know where he got it. That's the conspiracy. This is a unique treasure to behold. You're all seeing something very unusual. Yeah, Chevin <laughs> holding money is very no. unusual. Star notes. That is a conspiracy right there. There's something for you all to learn about. Look up star notes. Star notes. Well, let's see if we can get another caller so we can start wrapping things up for the next show. We There's need also that. something else in this bag. Yeah, and the next the next caller will also talk about what's in the bag. Still waiting for that Chepard Kickstarter. Someone said, "Well, Chepard wants to buy a remote control truck that he can't afford. So if you want to give him five hundred dollars, yeah. he can buy it." <laughs> what is the amount on Milford? Uh, Nathan's up to like fourteen thousand. No, I'm almost at fourteen. Bob? I'm trying to get fourteen. If you guys what? want to donate to uh, Milford. Please do. I think you all know where the link is on my YouTube and everywhere. Indiegogo Milford movie. Mm. We're so, so close to 14,000. Trying to hit 15 by Monday, but yeah, it might yeah. be hard. Please donate. What's, what's this is going to be a very, very, Earth? very, very good movie. What does Wuzzcrat think about Another Flat freaking Earth? award winner right there. Wuzzcrat definitely believes in Flat Earth. Wuzzcrat does not believe in either, I think. Yeah. I he think, believes in a fourth dimensional world. Right. I feel like Wuzzcrat would more strongly believe in a Flat Earth than... I think Anybody he believes else. in a fourth dimensional world as opposed to round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Most cats from a magical place called Rancrum's Eye. We don't even know where that is. Yeah, we're not getting any... Oh, there we go. Ah, yeah. ah. I, was like, I was like, nobody's calling this freaking number. Uh, hello, caller. You're on the air. I just want to know what's in the bag. <laughs> That's a mystery right there. Glad you called. Seth's going to smoke whatever's in that bag, and then he's going to believe in Flat Earth. What do you got there? Whoa! Flat Earth! Celebration! Is that a Flat Earth? Boys! Wow! You did got you, party, you party poppers! What is it? Party I poppers? I left the chat so oh, I could call this. They're, celebra- <laughs> they're celebration poppers. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Yep. Worth the call, huh? You know, this this is worth using all your calling one eight hundred C O L E C T. Using all your long distance. Where are you calls. calling from? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, yeah, that's funny. Where are you? Where's the camera? It's on the party toys. Close up? Yeah. The, the center camera? Yeah. There we go. I got it. That's you terrifying good. Frank. Yeah, Frank hates Frank's everything. losing his mind. Let's see what happens with this one. Frankenstein, the dog, is losing his Still mind. Still Yep. Ooh. That was a pretty good one. More terrified than ever before. Burger, you can do one. 
I don't want to do any of these. You crazy? Ooh. There he goes. <laughs> Very cool, huh? Alright, this is Doom for who knows the conspiracy show saying. 